This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I show how to create watch folders in Adobe Media Encoder that can be accessed by multiple computers and a shared server. Daniel asks, I know you have published a tutorial about using Adobe Media Encoder watch folders. This would work for existing media files, but is there a way I can export a timeline from Premiere to AME watch folder on another machine, if the machines are connected via a shared folder? I'm looking to send projects from my laptop to a Mac Pro desktop for export. Yes, Daniel, absolutely. I do this on a weekly basis. I have two server volumes. This is a direct attached RAID, and this is the screen recording that we're doing with ScreenFlow. I'll just move that out of the way. Okay, so here is my server. On my server, I have a folder called Exported Files. I've created this folder on the server. We can see that by, see it's Shared Assets, which is the server volume. So what I do is when I'm exporting out of Final Cut or Premiere, it works the same both ways, is I export all of my files to the Exported Files folder. Let's pretend that I'm starting Media Encoder on a different computer, a Mac Pro. In point of fact, my compression system is a, a Mac Mini, 2018 Mac Mini, which I really like for video compression. So once Media Encoder starts, I'll show you how to set this up. So now we're in Media Encoder. Personally, I don't use the Media Browser, so I'll close that. And I'm going to go to Watch Folders. So how do I add a Watch Folder? I click the plus key. And I navigate to my exported files folder right here. That's my exported files folder on my server. And I say, that's where I want you to look for files that I add. And as soon as I do, I say, there's my server volume. Now, Media Encoder is running on the Mac Pro. I'm feeding it files from an iMac. The iMac is going to the server. Watch folders are watching from the Mac Pro. And then I can say, where do I want them output? I click here. I want them output, not to the output folder. I want to have them output to the compressed files folder, which is also on my server. So my source files are stored on exported files because everything I export always goes to the same folder. And my compressed files are always output to the compressed files folder. That way, if they're there, I've compressed them. And if they're not there, I haven't compressed them. At this point, the watch folder is set up except for determining what your compression settings are. This works great. You can have multiple computers contributing files to the exported folder and a single optimized video compression computer, the Mac Pro or Mac Mini in my case, looking at that folder and outputting the files. Works perfectly. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 269. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than 1,900 movies hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.